Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tyler. I'm going to be reviewing the Holo Taco One Coat Chrome Collection. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Holo Taco One Coat Chrome Collection. And if I am going to be honest with y'all, I don't think this should have been a box collection. Because with the boxes, I tend, like for me personally, I tend to look at the box for inspiration for nails and this one the only inspiration i've seen is to just use this shade because i'm not seeing like any other shades being used on it except for not even the back like it'd be cool like what they did with the julian collection is have like the trophy life be the that shade and like all that like all like that you know but i don't think this should have been a box collection i know they're trying to at least Christine on something that Logical said they were trying to have less box collections. I really wish the Barista one, I wish that was the collection because that would be a really cool collection. This one is just kind of meh. There are a few things I don't like about it just from watching her streams. Is that this isn't like a polish you wear daily. It's like if you're going to a party or whatnot. So I'm not really sure the purpose of it, if that makes sense. And it does come with this guy. It is their new quick dry base. I did not know that it came with it because I was just buying it and I was watching her videos. So I bought another one. So hopefully these can be used with other things. I'm not sure though. So yeah, I think I'm just going to put this one with my other nail polishes that are unopened. And then I'll use this one. I'm not going to put it on my actual nails because. I just did my nails last night, they are kind of chipping already just because I use my hands for work. But I do have these swatchy sticks that we are going to be using and then I do like though that they made, like they put like a little like purplish tint in here. That way if you have the uh, nail polish rack that they came out with a few months ago, you can see that's like not either the base coat, top coat, or like, the, you know what I mean? So I'm happy with that. Um, so let's get into the swatching. Okay, so we have these swatching sticks right here. It's the five of them. Off camera, I'm going to put the base on there. That way, y'all don't have to watch that because that sounds really boring to me. Okay, so I'm not sure why they would need a quick dry base. Like, I'm not really sure what the not. I don't want to say purpose, but I'm not quite sure like why you would need a quick dry base. So let's start with World first, if you guys can see that. This, if you've watched them, please the video. She did a video about this a few years ago. It's kind of like a meme to that, which is really funny. I do like that the brushes are the wide thick brush. I do like that personally. So I think I'm just going to after this one just do it quickly and then i'll be right back okay so i am done with the swatches the slide's not really doing it justice they look darker in camera than i do in person i'm not sure if it's because my ring light is a little bit yeah i don't know what's going on with it but it doesn't look this dark in person i wish that they maybe got rid of this guy the trophy life this like gold one and put like a green because I think a green would be really cool I kind of while I was watching these I was kind of wondering if this was supposed to maybe be the like gemstone collection she was talking about a few months ago that I ended up scrapping I don't know if she said that in like a like a video or like a stream but it kind of feels like gemstones honestly to me not like, it's chrome, obviously, but they feel bit like the color story feels, except for like this one, and like, except for these two, I should say, feel very gemstone y. So, I wonder if that's why. And apparently, you're not supposed to put a top coat on here because it will dull it. But as of right now, the box collection is still available for $82. So, it comes with everything you need. So, the base and these guys. I want to say the individual ones are still available as well. Yeah, so everything's still available. 
What did I retail for? So the actual polishes retail for 14 and the quick dry base retails for 12. So if you, I don't know if you should get this or not. I know Sally's has something like this cause I used to have that. And it's kind of like the same thing, honestly. I don't really remember the quality of Sally's. So I don't know if like it was as good or worse. But I really wish we could put like a taco over it, you know, because that would make it hollow taco. This doesn't feel hollow taco. Does that make sense? It just feels, it doesn't, it just feels out of place to me because I have every hollow taco nail polish still. Like that sounds stupid, I know, but this just doesn't feel hollow taco. It feels drugstore, honestly. Like, it's just meh. Like, are they cute? Yeah, but if they're, if this, like, mirror effect thing is only gonna last like an hour or two, and it might not even last an hour or two, because if you, let's say, you put it on, and an hour later, it's all dry, all that fun stuff, and then you need to go to the restroom, wash your hands, and then, the mirror effect is gone and it's just a like a dull color it's like why why bother you know what i mean also while i was doing this i really wish hollow taco came out with this kind of color story like this like neon and pink i think they have one like this but not as neon any so that's a different video but do you need these polishes no yeah, I don't get why they made this into a box collection. I truthfully don't, because it's just lackluster. And I really think the barista bundle should have been a box collection, because you could get so much more like ideas, like I do at least, if there is the barista bundle. But it's lackluster, honestly. Like, will I get rid of these? No, because they were kind of expensive. Would I recommend people buying these? No. But, yeah. They're, I think my least favorites are these two, honestly. I think these two are my least favorites just because they're kind of basic, if, you, if I want to get honest with y'all. So if we were to take these two out, out of these three, so this one is aqua or something, or aqua foil, and then what is this one? Iron violet, and then pressed or pink steel. I think my two favorites out of these three would probably have to be these two. This one is kind of lackluster as well. Cause it's like a bluish, purplish. It's not my favorite personally. These three here I think are like the best. Just cause they look together, they look like they'd be cute manny. They look very like bubblegummy, like, you know. Be like, these two I think are the best. The other ones are just meh. Um, yeah, I don't want to like sound like a dick, but it's just meh. I kind of honestly, I kind of wish maybe they got rid of this pink or this purple, I mean, and put a green. Cause that'd be really cool. Like a, like a green. I think that'd be cool. Cause that would go perfectly with these. Or maybe get rid of the gold even. Cause you could like keep the purple and maybe get rid of the gold or honestly keep the gold. Keep the gold. Get rid of this guy. Bring this one out by itself. Like, cause it's honestly lackluster. There's nothing that's special about this. Like, I can get this. I think I was able to get this icing too. If I want to be honest with y'all. Like, when I think of Polo Taco, I think of like, not innovation, but something that you can't get at the drugstore. You know, for a good price. Like, hollow. You can't really get good hollow at drugstore for a reasonable price. These on the other hand, I went to Nordstrom Rack 
I want to say like a week or two ago. And I think it, there's like all these shades almost except for I think these two, if I remember correctly. And they were like three or eight dollars somewhere around there by Sally. So you can find these for a lot less. I would maybe recommend instead of getting the full collection, get this, you know, because you apparently need it. I'm not sure what purpose it has. Like, I'm not sure, like, how it makes it better. I, like, I don't know. But I would say maybe get, like, one of these two or both of them if you want to try that formula but don't get the whole box because I think it is a waste of money if I would be completely honest with you guys and I love Paula Taco stuff so it's like meh but that's just my personal opinion like I love that company it's a good company but this was a definite definite miss in my opinion I feel like the last few of their collections have been a little lackluster like I think the last one I didn't really care for was the magnetic one and I was super pumped for that one super fucking pumped but then I actually got it in hand and I was like where's the magnets like I came with the magnet obviously but it it disappeared so fast so it's just kind of like I don't know, like ILMP has some um, Sir Colors has some and they're so fucking good so like those ones get the hot dog ones don't get at all okay i thought the magnetic one was still in stock it's not but like i thought the box was still in stock because that one also didn't really do that well i don't think but yeah it's that's what it looks like it is one coat technically um yeah sorry for the long rambly video i just wanted to do this because I just got this in the middle like 20 minutes ago, not even that. But yeah, so I just wanted to try it out for myself. Okay, so I was just getting bored kind of, and I decided to test something, not test, but to do like a combo, I guess that's what you can call it. So I took the shade Aquafoil, put it on a swatch stick, let it dry, then half of the, I don't know why I did this, but half of the stick. I put on the clear, like, not the clear, the quick dry base. Other half I did it, not sure why I did that. Let that dry, all that fun stuff. Waited for this to dry. Then I took my flaky yellow taco, and then put it over the top. Let's see if you guys can see that. So it, it does, it did kind of dim it a little bit. I did put a top coat over top, like a glossy taco over top it did kind of dim it but to me this is really pretty like, like I would probably wear this even not with this blue maybe on the other colors like maybe on like this pink or like something but yeah I think that's really like it did dull it a little bit and it is still a little bit wet from me putting the top coat on but I think that's a really cute I think this is cute, personally. So yeah. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, comment, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.